This paper in Science and Tran Translational Medicine addresses the outstanding concerns about the mechanism by which nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs predispose to heart attack and stroke. Nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs are very commonly consumed by patients for the relief of pain and inflammation, and uh, a subclass of them, which included Vioxx and Celebrex, were developed to minimize the tummy upsets that people often get with those drugs. We had proposed that this short-lived fat called prostacyclin, which has cardioprotective properties, uh, um, by being suppressed by these drugs might predispose patients to heart attack and stroke. So we made mice in which prostacyclin could not act by removing its receptor. And we showed that in those mice uh, we could see evidence consistent with a cardiovascular hazard. This Cox enzyme comes in two flavors. One of them is actually in the platelets and it makes it makes a product called thromboxane, which sticks platelets together and promotes blood clotting. Blocking that COX-1 in blood platelets is what low-dose aspirin does, and that's how it protects against heart attack and stroke. The other flavor of the enzyme, COX-2, is in the blood vessel lining. It makes a different product called prostacyclin, which unsticks platelets relaxes blood vessels, so it's protective. What we show is that these non-steroidal drugs block COX-2 in the lining of blood vessels and that that's the mechanism by which patients taking these drugs are predisposed to heart attack and stroke, a rise in blood pressure, blood clotting. People argued as to whether the marker of prostacyclin that we found in our human studies reflected what was going on in the lining of blood cells. In these mice, we remove the target of non drugs only from blood cells. We see that that marker is depressed and that the mice are predisposed to blood clotting and a rise in blood pressure. This closes the loop in a couple of important ways. First of all, by using the same marker of prostacyclin, it integrates a tissue source the lining cells of the blood vessels with what we originally measured in humans. Secondly, it addresses a concern raised by some that the rise in blood pressure we see in these patients has nothing to do with inhibition of this enzyme. We show that it does and that it's in the blood vessels. And finally, we showed something quite unexpected. Prostacyclin is not the only substance that protects blood vessel lining. Another one is nitric oxide, or NO. It was argued that even if you suppressed prostacyclin with these drugs, NO would take over and compensate. We show that the ability of the lining of blood vessels to actually make NO is under control of the same enzyme that makes prostacyclin. So therefore, suppression of NO amplifies the effect of losing prostacyclin, not substitutes for it.